Hello today's video we have the following content. Why did Bruce Lee die young? Ipe Man had predicted, heels don't touch the ground, and he looked short-lived. At 11.30 on July 20th, 1973, Bruce Lee died in the United States, and this news attracted worldwide attention. No one would have thought that this superstar who brought Chinese martial arts to the world would suddenly pass away. For a long time, many people have been discussing why Bruce Lee died young, and his master Ip Man had predicted that Bruce Lee was short-lived. Why is this? Why didn't Ip Man try to save Bruce Lee? 1. Kung Fu Superstar, Chinese Idol If you ask the post-90s and post-zeros who were their idols in childhood, Bruce Lee must be one of the people they will mention. Until now, almost all Chinese martial arts enthusiasts and learners have a high admiration for Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee has had a high interest in martial arts since he was a child, and is very keen on action movies. His dream since he was a child is to become a martial arts actor. Bruce Lee's acting career is also very enviable. He appeared on the screen when he was only three months old, playing the young Wan Lailu in Golden Gate Girl. He appeared in many movies and TV shows afterwards, becoming a well-known child star in Hong Kong at that time. In 1965, Bruce Lee came to Hollywood, Los Angeles, USA to seek development opportunities, and starred in The Green Hornet, Batman, Invincible Iron Detective and other movies. In 1971, Bruce Lee returned to Hong Kong to develop and opened his era. Fist of Fury has become a standard model in the world's martial arts movies. The appearance of Bruce Lee completely changed the stereotype of Americans about Chinese people. Before Bruce Lee, Americans always thought that Chinese people were relatively thin. Bruce Lee not only broke this impression, but also let Americans know the charm of Chinese martial arts. However, it is regrettable that in 1973, after Bruce Lee and his friend successfully filmed a painstaking work in Hong Kong, not long after, Bruce Lee suddenly died. This inevitably makes the whole world feel sad, and at the same time makes many people wonder why Bruce Lee died suddenly. You know, Bruce Lee was in his prime, and he had been practicing martial arts for many years, so his body was always healthy, not to mention that he died not long after the movie he shot was released. Many media made various speculations about the cause of Bruce Lee's death at the time, and even conspiracy theories emerged. So what exactly was the reason for Bruce Lee's death? When the whole world was surprised by Bruce Lee's death, someone found that Bruce Lee's master Yip Man had predicted that Bruce Lee was destined to have a short life before his death. How did Yip Man see that Bruce Lee would have a short life? Why didn't Yip Man try to save his disciple? 2. Yip Man's prediction, the reason for not saving him is so. Yip Man had a basis for predicting that Bruce Lee would have a short life. When Bruce Lee was learning from Yip Man, Yip Man discovered Bruce Lee's problem. Ip Man said that when he saw Bruce Lee walking, his heels always didn't touch the ground, so he told him to change it, which was a sign of short life. However, this was not a bad habit of Bruce Lee, but because Bruce Lee had mild flat feet, so he always bounced when he walked. In 1963, Bruce Lee received the U.S. draft order to go to the Vietnam battlefield, but during the physical examination, he was found to have mild flat feet and failed the physical examination. Why did Ike Man say that Bruce Lee had a short life for a flat foot? This is recorded in my country's classical medicine. Flat feet means no arch of the foot. There is no cushioning effect on the foot during exercise. Generally, it is not possible to exercise for a long time. If you force exercise, it will cause various diseases. Of course, it is not impossible to treat it, but the premise of treatment is not to exercise vigorously for a long time. The reason why Ike Man didn't save Bruce Lee at that time was very simple, because he couldn't stop this kind of thing, and he also advised Bruce Lee to pay attention to rest and reduce his exercise time. But as a perfectionist, Bruce Lee always believed that man can conquer nature, and he also accomplished many things that ordinary people could not accomplish through repeated efforts. Although he could not squat like a normal person due to flat feet, he thought he could overcome this. Sure enough, with his efforts, he could squat. But when Ike Man knew about it, he could only smile and shake his head, and continued to advise Bruce Lee to go along with it and never force himself, otherwise he would eventually hurt himself. But Bruce Lee didn't think so. In his opinion, as long as he worked hard, there was nothing he couldn't accomplish. Seeing that Bruce Lee was so stubborn, Ike Man had no way to stop him. The reason why Bruce Lee didn't listen to his master's advice and worked so hard was not only for his own dream, but also to let the whole world see the power of Chinese martial arts and Chinese people. When he gradually became famous, he was already a business card, 
and his performance determined how Americans would view the Chinese. So he started to work harder and harder. 3. Bruce Lee's real cause of death was exposed, and Ike Man's prediction came true. In 2022, Spanish doctors found out the real cause of death in the investigation of Bruce Lee's death. Bruce Lee died unexpectedly because of cerebral edema. Bruce Lee's brain weighed 0.5 pounds more than normal people. Experts believe that it was because Bruce Lee consumed too much water that day, which led to hyponatremia. And Bruce Lee did a lot of things that disrupted the normal water balance, causing the body to absorb too much water, various symptoms, and eventually caused the brain to swell rapidly, fall into a coma or even die. Why did Bruce Lee interfere with the normal water balance in his body? This is because Bruce Lee tried too hard to break the American stereotype that Chinese people are thin. But when Bruce Lee's body reached a certain limit, the only way to break the limit was to use various nutritional drugs and intramuscular injections. In order to keep his body in a highly excited state, Bruce Lee even smoked marijuana. In order to relieve muscle fatigue, electric shock and other methods were used. These extreme measures did make Bruce Lee's body constantly break its own limits, but at the same time, they also brought huge side effects. As time went on, Bruce Lee's body began to be somewhat overwhelmed. And because of taking a lot of drugs, Bruce Lee's mental state also had problems. Before his death, Bruce Lee had begun to become a little depressed and often said some negative things to his family. Ike Man advised him not to force himself too much at the time, but in the end Bruce Lee chose to give everything for his dream. In addition to inspiring countless people's martial arts dreams, Bruce Lee's story also warns us that while working hard for our dreams, we must also pay attention to our bodies. A good figure is the capital to realize our dreams. Next news. Looking back 15 years after Bruce Lee's death, his wife Linda remarried his apprentice, but she met the wrong man and was abandoned after two years. I will never say that I am the best in the world, but I will never admit that I am the second. Bruce Lee. In this world, there are many kung fu masters and superstars, such as Jean-Claude Van Damme, Tony J.A.A., Schwarzenegger, Stallone, etc. However, when it comes to one person, these people are afraid to scratch their heads in embarrassment. He is Bruce Lee, the founder of Jeet Kune Do and the founder of the Jun Fang Kung Fu Institute, who brought Chinese Kung Fu to the world. However, he died suddenly at the age of 32. To this day, the cause of Bruce Lee's death is still a mystery. Bruce Lee, a Chinese-American, was born in San Francisco, USA. Looking at this Kung Fu master on the screen, who would have thought that he was weak and sick since childhood? In order to exercise his body, he embarked on the road of martial arts, but he was unstoppable and eventually reached the pinnacle of martial arts. Bruce Lee learned from Ike Man and got the true teachings of Wing Chun. However, he was born in the West and liked Western boxing. So he combined Eastern and Western martial arts and created a new martial art, which is also the spiritual Jeet Kune Do. To this day, Bruce Lee's nine world records are still unbreakable. 1. Powerful explosive power, kicking a 45kg sandbag. 2. The full force of the nunchaku who can produce a force of 1,600 pounds. 3. The world's martial arts are unbreakable for speed, with amazing punching speed, 9 punches in 1 second, and a 75 kg strong man is hit 6 meters away with an inch punch. 4. Push-ups with both hands, 1,500 in a row, push-ups with one hand, 400 in a row, 100 thumbs with one hand, and 200 thumbs with both hands. 5. The real yang finger. The finger can be inserted into an unopened can of coke to poke a hole. 6. He weighed half as much as Muhammad Ali, but he had the same power as Muhammad Ali, with a punch of 350 pounds. 7. He kicked six times in one second, and kicked a strong man directly. 8. He lifted a barbell of more than 56 kilograms horizontally. 9. He kicked a 135 kilogram sack to the roof of a 5 meter high house. Bruce Lee is a well-deserved master in the Kung Fu world. After his death, his son once publicly stated that he would investigate the mystery of his father's death. However, during the filming, the prop gun was swapped and he was shot dead on the stage. He also died young. The death of the father and son cast a shadow on the truth of the matter and made more people begin to doubt. However, no matter how certain the matter is, without evidence, it can only be regarded as nonsense. Now, in this once warm family, only Bruce Lee's widow Linda and daughter Shannon Lee are left. The Love Story of Bruce Lee and Linda Bruce Lee and Linda were actually college classmates and good friends. They met at the University of Washington. 
It was also with Linda's introduction that Bruce Lee met his great disciple, Japanese Takashikimura, who had always admired him. He also established the Junfeng Kung Fu Institute in the courtyard of Takashikimura's house. In this world, no one will be good to someone for no reason. Everything Linda did was because she liked Bruce Lee and loved him like crazy. Later, Bruce Lee fell into a trough because of his breakup with his girlfriend Amy. He was very decadent. Linda silently accompanied Bruce Lee, helped him out of the trough, and confessed to Bruce Lee, who was very moved. In 1964, Bruce Lee and Linda entered the marriage palace. At that time, Bruce Lee devoted himself to his career, and Linda became his good wife. Bruce Lee's career finally improved and began to move towards the acting career. Although Bruce Lee was an undefeated myth, there were bound to be some bumps in the competition. In order not to worry Linda, Bruce Lee began to devote himself to the entertainment industry and avoid duels as much as possible. The two lived happily like this. However, in 1973, not only Linda, but everyone did not expect that Bruce Lee, whose body was as strong as steel, died without any signs. The cause of death is still a mystery. The saddest person is Linda. Compared with traditional women in China, foreign women are more wild and passionate in their pursuit of love. However, she was unwaveringly close to Bruce Lee. From having nothing to becoming famous, she has always been with him. It can be seen how deep this love is. Remarried to a disciple, divorced two years later. Fifteen years later, no matter how strong Linda was, she was just a woman who needed someone to rely on. This year, at the age of 43, she chose to remarry, and the person she remarried was Bruce Lee's disciple Tom. In China, it is a great act of filial piety for a disciple to marry his master's wife. However, both of them are foreigners and they not attach much importance to these. Tom has been pursuing Linda since Bruce Lee's death, but Linda only has Bruce Lee in her heart, so she rejected Tom many times, but she could not stand Tom's persistence. For 15 years, Tom has been pursuing her relentlessly, and Linda was finally moved by him and chose to marry him. However, she was wrong. This man was like a hunter in the hunting ground, shrewd and good at disguise. After marrying Linda, Tom always talked about Bruce Lee with her intentionally or unintentionally, and even called it, missing the master. Linda did not think much about it, and was very moved, so he told her many secrets of Bruce Lee. Slowly, she found that her husband, the former disciple, began to become a little different. He was indifferent to her, and sometimes he would be very cruel to her. It was not until a book about the cause of Bruce Lee's death was circulated in the market that Linda knew Tom's purpose. This man valued fame and fortune very much. In martial arts, he could not surpass his master, so he started to think about other things. He spent 15 years pretending to be close to her. It turned out that he wanted to know Bruce Lee's secret and become famous. Linda was disheartened and had a big fight with Tom. Then, Tom, whose hypocritical mask was torn off, divorced Linda and abandoned her. So far, Linda has become a lonely person again, and perhaps, the Western God saw Linda's pity, so he arranged a stockbroker named Bruce Cardwell to come into her life. Since then, the two people have been very affectionate, and Linda finally found happiness. In Linda's heart, she has already loved Bruce Lee to the bone. Bruce Lee's English name is Bruce Lee, and the person who lives with her for the rest of her life is also called Bruce. Perhaps, this is destined. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,